I'm going to be interviewing the host. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Damien, oh, that's when... please explain your type. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your girlfriend is in the room for this answer. <laughs> if that's stuck. And I hope that's it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Answer this question, the answer to this question does does not translate well to media. <laughs> we no, it does do not it you, translate you well to the discourse to either, media. but it was funny at the time. Um, <laughs> handed you a poison pill. Um, let's start with a roll call. I don't know when you're going to start the podcast on that one, buddy, but I give it's you props for figuring it out. It's been going. Yeah. Uh, I'm Chalk Banana. I was drafted third. Uh, by Wait, the I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. here. I'm Chalk I, Banana. I tried to get Damien to start oh, three times. No. I, you came in with the what type of women do you like to date? I, and like interrupt. three minutes after I said, let's do a roll call. Mm-hmm. Considering mm-hmm. this video is only a few for me, that's minutes fine. long thus far, yes. I'm going to go uh, exit out on that. Or like, You're going to go exit out minutes. on that? X to doubt. X to like doubt. X oh. to doubt. Apparently That's nobody can hear anybody call. on this podcast. So That's yeah, great. This is going to be a fun Damn night. Here. Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> wow. That's Hello. 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 That? <laughs> I just got a hole in one. It's, it's fucking Gilbert Gottfried on our podcast. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Can I ask a dumb and question? And with that, I will be going. So you guys are <laughs> not done with the roll call, so you cannot well, ask a question. Is it Godfried or Godfrey? God freed. It's freed. Uh, There's a D on the end. I don't think so. Is that is yeah? F R I E D G O T T F R I E D. Two T's. I feel like Mr. Crocker right now. Gilbert Godfried. Fairy Godparents. Gilbert God. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Free God. All right. Free Anyways, God. That's what it means. Uh, in German. I guess. Who's... Is it my turn? Yeah. Stupido Einstein. Tampa Bay Rays. Looking forward oh, yeah. to session sixteen. And the misery. Getting the season over. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on the to the sadness next year. tournament. We'll be playing. That's you true. There the is the set. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, Are I think we would just lose in the bad? first round. Yeah. Wait, do the losers go on or the winners go on? Oh no, it's like the fantasy football <laughs> losers. Sh- no, loser this chip. is like the strength of fucking schedule conversation <laughs> all over again. Oh no. <laughs> is this like that South Park episode where they have to play so well to lose? Oh, it's the baseball the, base, the fucking baseball yeah. one where yeah. I hear no bell comes from. Let yeah, no, no bell. <laughs> they're all actively trying to lose and like I they get really weird. good at losing. Like the pitchers can like hit your bat when you're not trying to fucking swing and shit. Damn hey, um, man, that was a that. hell of a putt. I just Swing's watched that. That, that was like, it, that was a hell of a long putt into someone's glove. Yeah, they call me Tiger. No one called me to win. I they cannot do, do this and speak and think at the same time. You'll get well, used to it. It's all you, good. You can pick two of those three. Stop, think, stop your thinking. choice. Yeah, I'm still also, I'm answer. still chalk banana. Number, number three went to the Phillies uh, to keep the roll call going. Move past uh, it. Leo Pollersbeck, number four, number 34 Oop. for your Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Possibly our pinch hitter in session. Possibly 16. pinch to be de- To be seen. To be determined. To be seen. Oh shit! Continuing my my legacy of getting exactly one at bat uh, per season I've played in, and hopefully it goes well. Maybe I don't know. Just for that, I'm putting you in. All right, sick. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to complain. I the get legacy to, I, that started I get this to year. It. Well, I took college, one apparently. I took one hack in college. I did not get on base <laughs> or do anything productive. Leo yeah, Pollard's okay. back legacy game. Back legacy. I'm gonna be like that pitcher from LSU who like lied to his coach and said that he hit dingers <laughs> in high school. He's like, coach, I, 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 I gotta be honest with you. I didn't, I didn't hit in high school. <laughs> I just started I, playing uh, baseball two months ago, my guy. Fats, I support you. Look at that. that. Shot. That's just crazy. Nice. That Beautiful. took like ten shots to get back to the beginning in order to hit that <laughs> shot. Shots for a hole in one. Yeah, it was amazing though. It's I just like that golf. When, shot. You make a cr- when you make a crazy shot and then you're like, perfect. Now this did is an introduce, instead of a 10. Did we introduce Griff? Always in our thoughts, always in our hearts. Oh, of Griff. course. Yes, Mr. 16 bit. And joining us today uh, is 
GM of your St. Louis Cardinals. Rainer in a man. Uh, Fats. I don't know what Fats' last name is. Richards? Is that what it was? Richard. I did no no S. Sorry, Fat Richard. Fats no. Richard. <laughs> no, Fat Richards. <laughs> Fat, Fat Richards. That's closer to the spirit of the name Fat, than the other one. Yeah, that's <laughs> Dick. Just, Three fat right. kids yes. in a trench coat. <laughs> fat dick. Yes. Fat dick. Yeah, there something like that. Something Not like that. that. We'll get. We'll get there eventually. It's, we'll. We'll yeah. get there. We'll get there. My, my father-in-law is a dick. <laughs> okay. <Ooh>. Nice. <laughs> well. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I'm not listening. He passed he before be I met my wife, but he went to. He went by Dick. Yeah. Oh. He's tricky Dick. <laughs> tricky. I don't know how tricky he was. <laughs> tricky. <laughs> Uh, so fats. <laughs> question, <laughs> question number one are strong. Question number one from everybody here at the top five, except Dayman. Except, except Dayman. Why <laughs> Wait, didn't what? you pick Stupido, Chalk, me, or Griff at the number one overall? Well, you guys are really putting me on the spot here, huh? Yeah, it is question number one. Just tell them yeah. that they're fucking trash. <clears throat> Wow. Mm. I mean, it doesn't have to you. be true. I mean, I'm just saying. Says that. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, and I'm allowed to say that. I mean, pre- 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 preach on that. <laughs> Damon said that's factual. If you're not in bottom yeah, five, you know, cloud, don't Damon fucking talk to me. Is, is one of the highest rated individuals in the, the new Diamond Dynasty thing, isn't he? I might be wrong. Uh, I think you're wrong. No fucking. I think shot. you're wrong. He's not, not the highest. Terrible. I, I said one of. I'm I said one of. I'm checking. I'm pretty sure I am a diamond in that. So what? You're I, I'm correct. a diamond. I'm, I'm a diamond. diamond. I, I'm a diamond, I don't know diamond how. too. So that doesn't mean a lot. I'm checking right now. Hang on. Check. Check. I don't even play. Wow. How cool. You're saying <laughs> yeah, this mean, is just nothing. Both in the I sense that you wrong. don't play the game and in the sense that no one uses you in their team. Yes, That's, that is the case. Yes, both. Yes, yes. Mm. That's how my mm. MLN stats are. It's like six games of stats plus an AB. Not good to look at out of context. Damn it, Nightman, it's a 92 diamond in... Wow. Holy it shit. It was 97. Oh, numbers I'm only yeah, went to 80. Yeah. No, diamond goes to 99. Uh, it goes, or actually, okay. it actually goes to 100. I think it does yeah. go to 100, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, so we have so 100. name grades that I go saw to the 80. 97 overall. Yeah. Yeah, the 97 was the last thing I saw, but obviously it's like live, so. Yeah. Shout out Raj you, for. Leo, can you check me too to see if I'm still a diamond? Yeah, yeah. Most people may not know what that is. Might want to explain. I'll explain. It's Raj's new creation. Frankenstein? Monster? Let's let's Probably let's monster. start off with this though. Chalk, you're an eighty. I'm an eighty now? I was a ninety two three minutes ago. What happened? Mm. Have you tried being better? <laughs> no, not Sorry, recently. I only talked to diamond rated players. Sorry. That's so you're fine. You're, you're, you're gonna talk to yourself. Tree. It's just gonna be fats and nine. Before here. we get into what uh the diamond fats dynasty stuff is, I wanna a shout out to the new stats king, Raj, because he is killing it. He is killing the stats position. So I feel Raj. like a lot of shit has been fixed too. Like if someone's like, "Hey, I noticed this error." Uh, like Fats is not a diamond fixed, either, like, by the way. Right away. That's because he caused the error. Oh, that All could right. have been too, but I mean that can be All right, true. Leo. But at least somebody mute shit. Somebody mute Leo. He's not adding anything. Any, anyways. I tried once, yeah, and I, I apparently did. only turned people off for myself. So I just don't let's go. It. Yeah, you definitely. That <laughs> was pretty hilarious. Yeah. Yes. Oof. Um, not your type. Not your type. No, not at all. Back to that question. Yeah, uh, why did you? Why didn't you pick the rest of us? Well, honestly, I'll I'll be a little transparent. I I did oh, message wow. Stupido um, because I was aware of the uh, ties to the real Cardinals. Wow. And I, I like the Cardinals. Had, I didn't even get a message. I wow. know. I'm sorry, Chuck. I'm sorry. I don't really feel like the sorry's coming, but that's no. It's okay. It, it Do you is. want to be on the it Cardinals? Is. I'm coming. The Phillies. No, at that point, I wanted to be on the See, <laughs> Hang on, wait a minute. You yeah. messaged Stupido about joining the Cardinals. All you did was send me the David Freeze gif and say, get fucked. 
<laughs> that's Did that really happen? Because that's awesome. No, yeah. that did not actually happen. <laughs> oh, that is fucking hilar- uh, hilarious thought, yeah. though. Just him oh. roping a fucking double. In the that's crazy. <laughs> When was the last time Fats DM'd me? Fats, oh you DM'd God. me your PlayStation username on October 20th. That was the last time we nice. interacted. That's well, I already had PlayStation, did. you know? Oh, yeah, your yeah. PlayStation just fucking died, too. It yeah, did just die today. So Pop in the comments and tell guys... Fats how to fix his PlayStation. It's, uh, I don't think you can. <laughs> Throw it in the trash? Uh, yeah, well, you know, things happen. But it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm calm. Trust. I'm really calm about I'm it. I'm calm. Yeah, trust, trust. no, I, I'm perfectly calm. I have no qualms or quarrels with Sony at all about it. You know, I'm not so. actively plotting the fucking fine, burning fine. of their main no. building. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. God. Everything's fine. God. I'm not mad. What is it? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm really mad. It's really bothering me. Fucking uh, twitching. Like, yeah. I'm thinking no, so you I, said stupido. And you I said, did. I don't I, want Leo or Chalk or Griff. It's between you no, and, and Damien. No. I did tell Leo because Leo did not seem convinced that they were going high. Now I, I, I we did have this conversation. That surprised us all. And, and <laughs> I, wow! I, wow! Fucking roasted his ass. No, it is roast oh. night. It, it oh, is. I'm sorry, Leo. Like a gang of fucking sharks in here. What's a wow. what's a group of sharks called? A gang, oh, I think. Odd. I think I nailed it. <laughs> is you it a gang? Wear red. <laughs> what a murder! Yeah, we have the we have the world of information. that's crows. That's crows, but there's multiple things called that. A shiver, a shiver. That sounds it's funny. A shiver. We're gonna go, no. we're gonna go with gang. I think I like it's a gang. Like shiver me pod. timbers. Over there. I would also oh, take. Yeah. I would also accept a, a horde, a horde of sharks. A, a what? Watch your language. A horde of sharks. Horde of sharks. What are you family doing? Family friendly. Sharks? Family friendly. We are not family friendly. So what does uh, Tupido, what does Tupido never do to. when you said it's down to you and Dayman? Um, pick me or else. Wow. And then you didn't pick him. Yeah, it didn't pick me. And, so, and then I didn't. Or else and is this the first time you're talking to number one sense? overall pick again? Uh, actually, yeah. So yeah, that could I, be. Could be I on blocked me. him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I just I just yeah. checked the DM history oh. between Fats oh, and I, no. and there yeah, isn't sorry, one. Leo. So <laughs> listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was, hey, you guys are too good, and I I didn't know. I panicked, and I just ended up with Dayman, and it like yeah, we're here again. So you know, say maybe next year, but you, that would have been sixteen. We enter the yeah. fucking draft, and we'll grab you this time. He didn't <laughs> overthink yeah, the pick. He just picked. I can't. Dayman. I've already. I've already. Leo, you're gonna make it. Oh, you stayed on. I've already recommitted to the Phillies. Shot. I don't know if I can announce that yet, but whoa, no. wow, breaking ex- yeah. breaking news! I'm not fucking leaving. You know, I'm not nope. I've planted leaving. roots. I've always said that the top roots. five podcast is where I get all of my MLR related news. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, that well, that first, makes so sense as to why we're three getting to four the number one overall after. fucking pick again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, hey, that's not, not guaranteed say. yet. That's not guaranteed yet. <laughs> okay. Don't exist. I mean, like, does we, the winner we still of this gotta... tournament get the number one overall pick? No, no, they do I mean, not. I feel they like get a better. sandwich pick or something. A yeah, they pick. get a comp say, pick. Uh, I said, does the, the winner of the third. sadness tournament get the the first overall pick? Don't you get it's the thirty first comp pick? pick. It's a, the thirty third or the thirty first pick of the first round. Yeah, so okay. yeah. Kind of yeah. comp pick that's, at the end. Otherwise known as same thing with. That, is that really? I've never heard that before. I've never heard really? that term. Uh, the pick either. between, uh, yeah, when there's a draft between like rounds, it's called a sandwich pick. For like comp picks like that? Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Hmm, interesting. Oh, uh, uh, so is yeah, it a Cardinals I, thing that you guys can't figure out ledges and bumpers in this game? Or is it just like a. Hey, hey, hey I'm up here. I'm up you here. Let's buddy. go. I'm sorry. There you I go. Did a little I fucking did there. it this time. Yeah. I fucking did no, it. No, 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 no. So since I'm still in college, I can say this, right? So uh, okay, this is gonna be a, a, uh, a, an absurd uh, statement. Understand that? No, 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 no. It's it's fine. It's calm. Everything's chill. I'm calm. You guys calm? <laughs> no, <laughs> calm, but I don't know what you're saying. What you're about to say? Okay, right. okay. I'm ready for it. Um, not so. <laughs> I was playing That's a bad uh, shot. pong. I don't know what you call it. Pong when you like got the cup set up on the table, right? Ah. Beer pong. Beer pong. Um, yeah. I thought yeah, you sure. said you were still in college. 
I, I yeah, I am. I don't, well, everyone calls it something different. I've gone to college true, in two different true. regions, I've, right? So, true. like, I've been everywhere. Um, and I, I kid you not, if someone starts trash talking me, I will go into Steph Curry in the finals mode. You know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah. getting everything. My, I have a brother that uh, my brothers play darts a lot. They're in dart leagues and such. And my oh, one brother, yeah. my one brother, um, if you whisper into his ear, you fucking suck. He will oh. hit exactly what he's going for. You know, like he'll hit like a nine mark. He'll hit a fucking hat trick. He'll he'll nail it. Oh, you so just that's have to, his kink. Yeah, yeah you just have to, like, if you if you if you get a little tongue action in there, then he gets a little horny. And he can't throw. Huh? It. That's a whole different thing. Hey, <laughs> yeah. so, there's a line. There's yeah, a there's a line. Us? There's a line. Um, yeah, there's a line between motivation and distraction. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And there's also like a beer <laughs> minimum. You have to have two in you, but any more than two, and it's right. like, yeah. There's a line so between starts motivation is a fine, and seduction. Is, yeah. So. Uh, for like a good Was week. there a story here? Uh, <laughs> I don't no, think so. My brothers and I just lick our ears while we're playing darts. What's wrong? With no, no, no. What? From fat. Oh, okay. Oh, he, he was yeah, talking about yeah. beer pong, and then we just. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I listen to Steph Curry. Just... At this point, we're the stars. So. No, like, nice. it, oh, uh, that's Steph Curry. That's right. <laughs> I don't know how. Like, I'm not in fraternity life. I don't know if anyone did that or anything. But like, I I did end up at a frat party one time, and you know these these frat bros are talking shit and. uh so I, you know, I just Choked turned into up. Steph Curry on him, and I was like, "All right, well, I'm done with you guys." You know, it was fun while it lasted, but I'm out. Fat That's the same. If you keep if if you keep talking shit to him, then we're gonna make sure that the, the only cardinal wins we have are against your teams, just so it's that much more embarrassing. Excellent. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like Good. the Phillies and yeah. the Marlins this year. Us. We can't beat the Marlins. The Marlins like yeah. single handedly like. And like fucking and... Jin's Cy Young campaign. <laughs> oh, did they really? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, like man. straight, like straight up. And they like, yeah, like they beat the Phillies. It's like this weird thing where the Marlins at yeah. the end are just like, we're absolutely dicked, but like we're gonna just drag everybody down. Yeah, with like, us. We, are, we are claiming scalps yeah. on the way out. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we we couldn't beat them even in the beginning of the season. Uh, we've like, not you beat lost the Marlins twice. Yeah, we had a seven-game win streak, yes, and I think we, it was bookended by Marlins' losses. Oof. Um, <laughs> that yeah. sucks. I'm you, scared you of fish. for half of the wins. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, no shit. I'm very scared of fish. I don't like the ocean. I'm not meant to be around salt water. I'm a freshwater man. You sounds like you're not scared of, like, deep. You're not, <laughs> you're not scared of, like, the Great Lakes, then? So you're fine? No. Oh, Great the Lakes great are great. Lakes? No, they're great. That's they're why they're great. Called yeah, great. Yeah. Like, oh, that's great. the name. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell yeah. that to the thousands of shipwrecks laying at the fucking uh, bottom of them. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not it's using fine. them for commerce. I'm using them for lovely views. Hey, and make sure you guys properly honor the Edmund Fitzgerald. If you don't know it, please yeah. look it up in your spare time because it's great. Or, you know, it maybe in editing. You can just it's add terrible. that song in right there. Have you listened I love to these. We're gonna, we'll get fucking copyrighted. Or I love <laughs> these college kids coming in being like, hey, do you know this popular song that's 40 years old? I don't know. Listen. I listen. Don't. Okay. Okay. But li- listen here. Gordon you know, Lightfoot does it, I didn't slap. know about it. I didn't Gordon know about it. Gordon Lightfoot is a boss. You know who's a yeah, real boss? He, Jim that's Croce. That's what I'm talking about. Jim oh, Croce is Croce good fucking slaps, music. slaps, bro. Oh, that so good. That shit hits so hard. Dude, that dude could write a song. Yeah. And that's yeah. coming from, like, I mean, you know me. Like, I'm majority, li- like, mostly listening to, like, metal and things like that. And then I'm over here just like, I'll, I'll get down me, to some, some bad, bad Leroy Brown. Like, let's fucking I got to be honest. When you Not say you listen us. to metal now, though, I have no idea what it means. Because you said metal, good. and then you sent me some guy with a synthesizer whining about something. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Wow. We <laughs> talked about so many different genres. Like, that just underscores yeah, in how three little minutes. you paid attention. 90 messages. Simmer in down, three boss. Minutes. Simmer down. Dude, Peter's like, I gotta get that's the reading glasses. Fucking, I can't see what they're talking like we, about. We fucking a lot pay of fucking per message out here. Get out of here. Uh, uh, I, I remember paying message. per message. Bloop, bloop. Bloop. Me too. We don't do that shit anymore for good reason. Yeah, amen to that. Yeah. So, um, how do you feel about Buffalo Wild Wings? Oh, shit. I'm not asking questions. I'm, I'm, gonna, sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm throwing a brick through your window. That's it. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. All right. Wow. Question no, two. Sharks comes back. Question Man, two is, of course, uh, crazy. 
the question two is, of course, it is too hard to hear the next question over the sound of us crying that we were not picked uh, first overall and cannot put uh, S nine one O A in our in our name like Damon has all season. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this podcast is never going to come out because of the profanity laced tirades that are in, in coming very soon. I feel anyway, like I just the, got called the fuck out. Anyway, the third question <laughs> is: Do you like Buffalo Wild Wings? All right, this is. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I really don't. I can't get a read on it, but I hate it. It's awful. Yeah, it's they bad. like they. It's not they don't give any sauce at all. Like, and and I. So I'll even go a step further, further, and probably make even more people mad about this. So listen. But I eat boneless wings. Like I oh, like I'm with you there. Wings. I was literally about to say the only thing worth getting from Buffalo Wild Wings is like dry rub boneless wings, which something wrong with it. And if you're gonna do that, it doesn't matter if it's dry rub or not, though, because every wing they give you is dry. They they don't put any (laughs) sauce on it. Damn. Yeah. All right. There goes the beat up sponsorship. But yeah, I'm I'm not. Well, you know what, beat up. If you want to sponsor this podcast, that's fantastic. More power to you. But your wings suck. I'm sorry. Uh, we had something in the works. I wasn't gonna let everybody know, but I think that's kind of. I think I think this is where we add that the statements of our guests do not necessarily reflect that of the top five. Ten or... million dollars they were gonna give us. Ten, Ten million. You know half what? Of that yeah. to the half of that to the guest. Yes. Yep. Any dissemination of yeah. this podcast well, without you know our what? express it written even consent been worth it. is in violation of Major League Baseball. <laughs> don't worry. I don't think so, anyone wants to distribute this. <laughs> All He's I can hear is inseminate. Pirate. I just heard insemination. I know. Insemination. <laughs> he said it right, but I'm like, before what? I said, hey, before I Buffalo said that word, I was like, get your inseminated wings right here. Yeah, That's exactly. all oh, fucking shit. My that God. is a disgusting thought. Let's wait. Let's wait into cut that, that real quick. Cut though. that. Cut uh, that. <laughs> I don't want to. Hey, cut that. Cut that. Cut that. <laughs> boneless wings. Boneless wings are the only way to go. I don't care what sort of. I mean. Yeah. Fuck I yeah. don't fucking ride a horse to work anymore. I don't sleep with the fucking animals. Why am I eating? Why am I taking that much effort to get like an, a half an ounce of chicken off of some bone? No, when you can no, just waste. Say Science that, can give no, it to no. me prepackaged, all right there, I'll, ready to go. I I will say that like I can I can taste the difference. Like I I enjoy a boned wing. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> you're a fan of the bone. <laughs> You like the bone? Yeah, is that yeah. what you're saying? I, huge fan of the bone. Boned yeah. The wing. Yeah. No, I like my wings bone in sometimes, but I also am not a very messy person, and I got to stay clean and tidy. And wings are yeah. far from clean and tiny, unless you get boneless. So when so, it comes to wing, you're saying you play for both teams? Oh yes, I do. I do. Yes. Good. Makes sense. Good Makes Seinfeld sense. reference. Mm. So, what Seinfeld was a television fats? show, Fats, back in the day. Okay, I'm not that young. Okay, okay. With how this podcast has gone, gone so far, I wouldn't be surprised if you were the one confused about what the fuck Seinfeld was. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, you know, what hey, do I mean? What have I been confused no, no. about? Yes. The only thing I was confused back. about was, was insemination back. dissemination. <laughs> Terracotta pie. Hey, I believe the discussion pie. about the spelling of Gilbert Gottfried is another Terracotta example. Pie. I was just wrong. That's not. I was confused. I was just wrong. There's, there's nothing wrong being wrong. Are we trying to criminalize people being wrong? No, I'm just trying to say that you're a confused old man. Let my fucking joke oh, out. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. On, on, that, on that note, we're going to question number four. Well, wait, 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 wait. I want to question four. Gonna... I would like to say That's... I've had a couple of good nights at B-dubs. It was like 15, 20 years ago, but they, they did occur. How so the quality's gone downhill since? I'll, right? I'll say that. Got it. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll say that I definitely have been there and been like, that was Inflation. a good fucking time. But it's all Inflation. it's always boneless wings for one. Like there's, always there's boneless. No, yeah. get, no getting around that for sure. No. They had to make sauce cutbacks because of inflation. <laughs> because of chalk. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no. I single handedly ruined B W. What did world. you do to their sauce? That would be impressive if you. They literally were like, dude. The next ten years, we have to decrease sauce by this percent because this one fucking guy, like that's <laughs> that's a flex. There's a yeah. sauce <laughs> shortage caused by one man. All you can eat buffets yeah. have a sign out looking for me. That's what I am. I'm the ruiner of things. Wanted. Have you seen this man? The ruiner of worlds. Okay, got, sorry, Leo. You can got, go on with your questions now. I had to ask. I had to just 
stand up for that, you know, historical Mr. Buffalo Wild Wings. Mr. Fats oh, Richard, can yes. you face the jury here and tell us your incorrect opinion on pepperoni? Uh, well, I'm just dropping all kinds of crazy hot takes for food. Uh, they might like be, be cold takes at this, this point. I don't know. Well, you know, I've been threatened to be mutinied all season, so it's fine. I was the first thing I heard about that shit. Does not that shit does yeah. not bother him? He takes it on the chin. I mean, the pepperoni. You know what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, can't, can't I, say I that don't know. Good. What you're saying yeah. is he likes meat on his chin. <laughs> who, doesn't, who doesn't like a good sausage around the chin? Oh no! A little spicy sausage. A little spicy sausage. Hey, or a big cured sausage. Whatever you're into. Whatever you like. Yeah. Are we turning into like, like a fucking? Are we turning into a letter Kenny episode here? Is that what we're doing? As someone who's hungry, yeah, this is not fun. Yeah, bud. A little Vienna sausage. How are you now? Don't you know? Don't you know, bud? I I actually. I probably live closer to Canada than you, Damien, right? I'm I'm not sure how far. How many hour drive is it? Let's do that instead of like less than as the crow. Uh, it's like doxing two ourselves. Oh, oh I'm yeah. Four. Wait, you're I'm, you're so much closer. Even Chalk's closer. I'm to four get, hours to Canada. Good? To Maybe Canada from hours. Idaho is like a, at I, least a ten hour yeah. drive. Holy! It, from where I'm at, Idaho, at least. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. Uh, and the shitty part is that you're taking like a two lane highway through the mountains all the way north state. Like it's not, you're not taking like the freeway or some shit. No, there. I'm, like, I'm, I'm taking a plane. That's what I'm doing. I'm not. Driving. Yeah, it's I'm it's not it's not worth to plane. drive from here. That's fair. Hey, Fats, are you still playing golf? No, uh, no, no, I'm not okay. actually. Okay. Because I can't <laughs> multitask. It's all good. You don't have to. He well, he, he, he decided to think instead of play <laughs> golf. If you're not going to multitask, yeah. can you tell us about your uh, your opinion on pepperoni? <laughs> well, you know, I actually hate it, so it's fine. Like, what does that no, mean to awful. hate pepperoni? I just don't like it. I don't know. I did, like pizza. this I is probably the one thing that I could not explain at all whatsoever. Okay, like well, I, I just I'm glad you recognize that it's irrational too. I mean, it is. It's like yeah, my I have a lot thing. of irrational, it's irrational as fuck. Like. Yeah. No, this is a little bit more understandable because it's like the flavor of one thing, not a hatred of an entire selection of culinary types. Um, yes. Well, that's your opinion. It is my opinion. It's just that is like opinion, dogs. man. Kill bosses. I'm dug just, in, and I'm never going to change. Opinion, man. Would you eat like a summer that's sausage? Like you're, your from, opinion, you're from yeah, Central. Yeah, no. yeah. Okay. Okay. I, so just. Okay. No, I do like okay. summer sausage. Okay. Uh, so just uh, pepperoni. Pepperoni. like the sausage. specific flavor of pepperoni, oh. not necessarily yeah. Yeah. sausages in general. Yeah, and, and it's like I can't eat eat a lot of it. You know what I mean? You know, I just gotta just a little bit at a time. My my wife doesn't eat pork like at all. Like yeah, neither does my sausage, wife. bacon, whatever. I like I thought she might be like closet a closet Jew or a closet Muslim at some point during our marriage, but no, she just doesn't like pork. So mm. yeah, Fair. I, my girlfriend's well, literally I, allergic to pork, so we're a turkey bacon type of house. She's actually allergic to pork? Yeah. I didn't know you could have a pork allergy. What does it do? You don't have an you allergy to anything. I think you milk my allergies. I think you can't. There's something that was a meet allergy. the parents joke. Like, you say you can. No, never mind. I don't know what so, she said. What happens, <laughs> no, when, what happens when she has pork? Dinner. Yeah. Like, anaphylaxis? I was going to say she goes oh, into an serious? allergic shock. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. like it's like me with shellfish. Like it's like if I fucking eat that shit, we are going to the emergency room. I've like, never heard of anybody some, right. Somebody give me an uh, happy pen because pork. like I cannot breathe. <laughs> it's GG's, right? So no, so no shellfish, no it's pork. GG's just... on that. Final Watch. words, GG boys. <laughs> fucking <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> Chicken I beef house. I hope you enjoyed Fish. your red lobster. The last thing you'll ever eat. Me on my way to be trip. fucking executed. Fucking <laughs> just give me all the shellfish you can. Thanks. You your bacon what would shrimp you like as your last lobster. meal? Oysters. Fucking lobster. I actually can oh. eat oysters aren't shellfish, actually. Huh. They're mollusks. Oh. They're mollusks. Is shellfish this, is, is shrimp a shellfish? Shrimp, shrimp is yes. a shellfish. Shrimp. Shellfish okay. is lobster. identified as Crawdad. a good rule of thumb is anything that has a red shell. Because most people who are allergic to shellfish, which you're actually allergic to, is the protein that is responsible for, one, the shells being red, 
and two for the allergy. So I have red uh, hair. Are you allergic to me? <laughs> In spirit, yeah. That's a wild <laughs> statement. That's such a wild. What a, what statement. a wild thing Wait. to say. Like I was just curious. Like maybe it's my protein that you're allergic. I'm just to. asking questions. Oh my god! Oh, okay. I, I do not think it's your protein. Whoa, I'm allergic to. Oh my god! Okay. For two, I don't think that the shit that turns your hair red is the same as discussing aquatic wildlife shell contents. I did not take a biology class. Past yeah, past we know. So it is <laughs> <That's> obvious, <laughs> obviously, all of the inseminated wing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is with his <laughs> filled with his protein. shellfish protein and yeah. chalk protein. <laughs> yep. chalk protein. It's finger licking good. Mm, we'll have to get the copyright it's, for that. Welcome, buddy. <laughs> we'll have to get the copyright. For I think that. you can get around that though. Yeah, yeah. Can't yeah. we'll change an adverb or some shit. It's uh, it's Damon. Is your girlfriend also a... allergic to cats? No, she can't be. You have cats. No. You have. Two. We have cats. He has two. Okay. There's a rare pork cat syndrome where the allergy people who are allergic to cats are also allergic to pork. What do they so call they it? Pork cat syndrome? I it's have a joke and I'm keeping it to myself. That's a crazy name. So wait, you're telling me that we have names for shit? Like, they don't call like Parkinson's like, I mean, I'm, the technical Shh. name sure has to do with something like muscular dystrophy, but it's, it has like a name and we got pork cat syndrome. Like nobody yeah. could come up with a better fucking name than that. I mean, I, mean, I think it nails I've it. I've got huh? one, but it's not very safe. I, it nails it, but it's just not creative. It's got, that's my issue. The, it hits the nail on the head, actually. <laughs> it, it does. I'm just There's saying. There's no questions about what it, it means. <laughs> I mean, do you turn into a pork and a cat? A pig and a cat? How do you, a pork. How do, you do both? <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's a syndrome. We oh, don't no. know. The technology doesn't exist. All right, on that note, uh, Fats, where'd your name come from? What's the, what's uh, the great yeah. story behind F- Mr. Fats Richard? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, so I, I saw the name Fats on a baseball card or something. I, it was a card. Mm. And it's fact I was that. like, I, you know, I could be. It could have been wrong. I, I don't know. I saw the name somewhere and I thought it Maybe was funny. And I was like, Domino. Or Minnesota it, Fat pool player. It it could have been Fats mm. Domino. Darren Fats Russell. He was looking at the, the well known um, the well known billiard sports card collections. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is sort of Fats is like the most famous pool player. Yeah, there's ever. a Twilight Zone episode which makes that's him, like which makes all about like that twelve hundredth like most famous person <laughs> who's ever played <laughs> <in> forty <laughs> five thousand. It's still True. pretty high. Yeah. That's still pretty high. It's still pretty high. But can you expect yeah. one man to remember? All of the influential people. All the different fats. Makes them all of the people. Yeah. Twelve thousand. No, I, you know, with uh, much. with fats, I was like, you know what? What would what would go well with that? I I genuinely don't know what to pair that with. So I was like, ah, Dick. yeah, Richard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's. A classic, I wonder. Though. I would be curious. I should ask Rajas what the percentage of penis-based puns there are for names in that. It's got. I mean, you expect it, Raj to be able to figure with every one of them out, though. I mean, he, Raj is like a twenty-year-old. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty obvious usually. Most usually, of them are. Yeah. Well, let's, I'm sure I'm there's like, some. I'm sure there's some be, that you could be like, "That's a dick name," and it's like really not, but it's just like adjacent. Dick I'm going to be vulnerable here and admit that I didn't realize Fats Richard was a dick pun until we started having this well, podcast. I will agree as well. That, I mean, right. that, that is, is one of them. Is It's like subtle enough to where you could kind of just say, like, is that not just like a, a fucking name? <laughs> is he yeah. named Fats Richard or is he named Fat Dick? Let's. Mm. You got to you got to conf- you got to take the issues head on. Yeah. True. Winkle. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I, that was kind of the goal of this. I didn't want it to just be like, uh, you know, haha, fat, fat dick. You know what I mean? Right. Um, right. So I was, just like yeah. I wanted to be veiled enough to where it oh, sounds fuck. somewhat creative, and I think I hit that, considering you guys didn't get it right away. Yeah, for sure. Well, it was um, Stupido and I that didn't get it right away, and that's not really yeah, a measure. They guys. have. See, they're mature. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're older. or slow. I, I would say old and not mature. Oh, There's a difference. I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're we so did just have like a, a three minute discourse on the various types of meat that are around Fat's chin that he enjoys. So it, mm. yeah, I mean, mm. yeah, yeah. to quite the extensive list as well. <laughs> yeah, it was it was good times. It was good times. 
summer sausage. Vienna uh, sausage. I just had a hot dog for lunch today. Yeah, like sometimes dollar um, fifty hot dog. Do you sometimes juggle some meatballs was, down there too? Uh, I I do partake in yeah. the occasional meatball. Yep. Yeah, get a little Cut sauce the on the chin. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no, I'm a I'm a clean eater, so I don't do that. All right, you said you're like really fit to establish. Is that, that a, is that a pathology? Are you like you got to be like are you like neurotic about it? No, no, I wouldn't Must say that. I just like I'm extra careful, clean. like I, because I don't like stains. I try to take care of my clothes. So mm. understandable. Yeah. That's just that's just forethought. That's just good thinking, right yeah, there. Yeah, that's just like I have blue shirts that I like and I want to make them last. Yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. The, 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 the typical man uh, seven day shirt rotation. Seven. Um, uh, I, I'm I about four. I don't, think, right? I don't think that I consciously do it, but I notice myself of like on the days that I get dressed for like class, I'll be like, I swear I wore this shirt like this exact same day last week, even though we've like done laundry and shit. You know, I feel like I just am rotating through. I have four or yeah, five shirts I like to wear, and then I have four or five shirts that I will wear if I don't have another one. And yeah. then I have four or five shirts that I lounge around with. Yeah, that have holes like in the nipple yep. and shit. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Whoa, what are you doing to your shirts? <laughs> what are you it's doing? Just natural, it's just the natural outgrowth they're, of what happened. They're well, they're How well big loved. are your nipples? <laughs> they're, they're not Whoa. big. They're tiny. They're like mosquito bites. And they're rubbing Ooh. holes? <laughs> so they like get I into mean, the threads. Hey. I, I guess mean, I, like, like that. I, was like just, I was just making a joke. I don't actually have that. Although you I throw those shirts away now, right? There's a few shirts that I have where there is two tiny little like where you can tell the cloth has been rubbed because my nipples couple are pierced. Couple little holes in the so, undies. No, yeah. no, no, deal. no big deal. I'm sorry. Did New you just say your nipples are pierced? Yeah, I didn't know. Right. Barbells or barbells? Bar yeah, for sure. Only when you go. Rings are never trust Dangerous. someone that a, a guy, especially for women, it's like completely different. But like, if you ever see a guy with his nipples pierced that has rings, that's an untrustworthy person. Wow. I don't know why. I don't know how to explain it, but I know from doing a small survey of other guys that have and all, women who have been around guys. guys I no, asked. no, no, straight up. Like it, it was more than five and. Six. Third. Six is more than five. Yeah, yeah. Six is more than five. Seems but very yeah. scientific. It it was. We, I feel it's a math centric podcast. Your survey yeah. size on this. Taxes are next. <laughs> oh no! Not again. <laughs> oh. You haven't heard that yet, Pat. Okay. Uh, Pat, are you a listener to the podcast? I uh, so <laughs> I'm guilty. Is, I have, when they say so, it's no one ever news. says yes. No one. Why just? No why one. I, I don't yes. think we have yet to have someone just lie right? and just be like, yeah. Zand. Zand is Zand. the only yep. Zand is like, yeah. yeah, three times a day. I listen to them on repeat. Damn. Damn. Well, I think Bob <laughs> said yes. Zand. Too. I think Bob's oh, I'm, a fan, uh, I'm a super he fan. I have my fine. my top five T-shirt at home. Actually, oh nice. Got all of your faces on them. That is fucking individually. I need. We did not get a cut of that. Selfie bootleg. I bet Ooh, these are on the public, aren't they? It's on <laughs> DH Gate. DH Gate. <laughs> um, I actually got 35 days to ship. <laughs> Just in time I got it off of Wish. A week uh, for each of us. I, I think I some lady made it Fucking on her cricket. Wish and it's um, the size of a Barbie doll. <laughs> yeah, it it is a little tight. It is a size medium for those wondering at home. Medium. Nice. Medium. It's got the size. Nice. Got the medium. So I, I'm proud to wear it though. It is in my seven day rotation. Good. Oh, nice. Proud Good. to wear. You're proud to wear all two thirds of it as it leaves your midriff uh, completely exposed. <laughs> yeah. How do you and, feel yeah. though when you and look at it and nipples. four of them are mad at you for not drafting them? <laughs> I mean, I I we appreciate the... that four of you wanted to play for the St. Louis Cardinals and fake baseball. I feel blessed. You know. Hashtag. Yeah. Who out of those hashtag four are just IRL And I, I would like fans. to say, hashtag, please okay. res respect my decision. Hashtag, ice emoji. Respect hashtag, the process. Muscles. Uh, hashtag, uh, trust the process. You've Pretty lost the symbol. Trust the yeah. process. You've, you've, is you've lost this old millennial. Reference. Well, uh, you know, I'm just blessed. How about that? I, that? I, I can tell. Write hashtag that down. Stay blessed. Write that, that down. Down. Write that down. Through God, all things are possible. So jot that down. 
hashtag uh, stand tall. No, right. I no, it is it is nice. So I appreciate you guys for wanting to be on the St. Louis Cardinal. Question number six. Whoa. How did you come to join MLR? Uh, I think I saw a sticky on r slash baseball. Oh, we can't I think do that's that how it Oh, well. There, rip. <laughs> rip. The next ah, that question is going to turn into... Just, um, yeah, just don't. Okay, cut yeah, that, we're, not, we're not going down that. Yeah, we're not going we're gonna down cut, that. Cut, we're going to cut that. Cut no, that. that's like set in stone anyways. So Back from the cut in three, two... But I, I think we're going to have to change that question to... Did you also see a sticky on our baseball? <laughs> a, a, um, just a sub question of how did you find this and was it our slash baseball? Yeah, right. And then, which subreddit did like you that? find this on? Yeah, yeah. literally. And why well, was it our slash baseball? No, I mean, I said actually, no, I'm misremembering anyways. It was the Cardinal subreddit. All right, ah. six. So we can, I'll re ask the question and then you answer it with that. No, it's, <laughs> I think, I think mine too was. You're the, just the Mariners, the Mariners subreddit, subreddit and the, but I it's always confusing because I feel like I saw the baseball one like a few days later, if not the same day, you know. Well, so they, they uh, either be. way, I like it. I mean, this, this is starting to get on to like year three for me somehow. Uh, I I honestly three two one. So how did you uh, come to find fake baseball? <laughs> uh. I think it was on the Cardinal subreddit. I could be wrong though. Uh, slash Cardinals. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like Dayman's story. You found it from the Mariners subreddit. <laughs> yeah. Are we really going to go? What are you laughing about? I don't. I have, no ask, references ask here. 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 I didn't know questions. that was what. Dayman, you found it on the Mariners subreddit. I I think so, but I, it could have been our slash baseball. I genuinely cannot remember. It was some yeah. sort of sticky though. It would make it would make sense though that. It was on the Mariner subreddit because, like, I don't go on R slash baseball. I was about to say, are you an R slash baseball frequenter? I, not like, like, yeah, during the season, but like, not, not, not like every day. Oh, come on. What is this? Oh, Leo. <laughs> unlucky as fuck. Nah, I honestly, like, since, right, since I this. started DMing, like, I, I really haven't been on Reddit. <laughs> at all because I, I used to be on it all the time for uh like tennessee athletics and uh yeah. just various other sporting things yeah but lately i've tennessee honestly fan? just been i'm sorry you're a tennessee fan oh yeah Could be going. yeah why are you a tennessee um, fan well it's just one like of the many March. no no i so i grew up down there um and then I went to college there for a couple of years, and then I I moved up to Michigan and transferred. So, He's I thought you were from like Central Illinois. Is that not the case? That is... uh, no, that's mostly just where my family's from. Oh, okay. Yeah, but like I know the area really well. So, like I, I'm I'm a bit of a journeyman, <laughs> bit of a yeah, I... traveler. I did the yeah. I did another thing. I had like um four or five different college university college university type things before I finished my yep. undergrad. And then Yep, yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. I think isn't that better board. than giving all your fucking money to one place? No, because I was in debt no. to all of them from dropping out a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah. <Damn. laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. E- e- either way, you're still like, oh cool. Like I owe the same amount of money, but it's just to three fuckers and now two. <laughs> like fucking five. Yeah. I mean, it it is cool, like each one gives you a different experience, but I would oh, yeah. <laughs> would have rather yeah. just had had the one. You know what I mean? It would have made things yeah. a little bit easier and quicker on my end. Yeah. Also makes it super like... fun to apply to grad schools when you have to get seventeen <laughs> different fucking transcripts. Yeah, that is yeah. super fucking annoying. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, on that. Yeah, that shit sucks. Even just getting fucking one or two copies sucks ass. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I, I trust transcript you. Fee. Yeah. Even though, like, I had gone to the same place. Uh. Even my credits through Boise State that I took when I was in high school, I still had to like do separately, 
like I still ended up having to like do like a bunch of credit stuff like with transcripts, even though it was like all from the same fucking university the whole time. That's so dumb. annoying. Yeah, so fucking stupid. Eventually, though, after like two or three years, they just it just logs it to your transcript. It's like the dumb shit. Don't get me started yeah, so, on the university. So university. I after seeing like a community college, mid mid sized college and like major university right i've done all three of it honestly i think like yeah. mid-sized university and going there for all four years is the way to go that's what i did it's I, yeah same it's especially nice I, uh if you're in the same department because like you genuinely like know most of the faculty members like it's not like in, uncomfortable in the like classmates shit. yeah yeah I, it's I, easier to talk to everyone classmates. Yeah. It's easier to talk to everyone, and everyone is, I feel like, is much more willing to help. And, it, like, and, you know, and of course, it could be different elsewhere. Some places, you might not get that help, and I understand. I've seen that. But I just think from an overall point, it's mid-size is the way to go. Just Yeah, trust. it definitely is a much different vibe when you're like, every single one of my classes is 250 people in a fucking lecture hall. Versus where you're like, I've had a few of those, but like most of my classes are just like, you know, 20 to 30 people. And it's like yep. kind of the same people. Those are two very different things. And then when you start getting into upper levels, it's all the same professors too. Yeah, 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 for sure. And and you already know how they all grade and mm -hmm. and everything oh, beyond that. Yep. Um, I think, and I did a fair amount of this, I, for my money, it's... You know, junior college for the first year, year and a half, two years even, just get all the mm -hmm. bullshit out of the way. Yeah. And when you yeah. figure out what you want to do, because that's what really takes the long time, then you go somewhere that does what you want to do well, and then you fucking figure it out. And yeah. you get the relationship so, and the engagement based on, you know, who you are and going and talk to the professors. And that's one of the skills you got to develop anyways. So I feel like it's worthwhile to throw yourself into that a little bit. But I mean... The only reason... I, I would say mid-size for all four years. It's just because I think you kind of miss out on a little bit of that, like, dorm experience. Like, I never had that. And I feel like there is a bit of FOMO on it, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. Is, some it, is it worth $40,000 a year, though, you know? Well, I mean, if you go to that mid-size school, then I'm I'm just under the the assumption that you'll be able to get some decent scholarships. And, like, you know, if you have some fair grades, right? Wrong. And that's... That's and, you know, and correct. That's wrong. <laughs> so and I might be. I might be. And if my, that's the case, if you can't get those, it then just, you know, it just depends. like yeah, Jake, yeah, those might be the way to go. And then you can get those scholarships after if you work hard. So, and uh, I, don't, I, I just, I see what you're saying. Like, if you're going to go to a school that's a major regional institution, um, or a like like SLU in St. Louis is a major regional institution, a good alumni Pelicans. network. Yeah, uh, uh, but but it's it's more than just like the athletics. Like they yeah. have like alumni networks on a lot of different fields, and so going there opens doors because you'll be able to right. you know rely on that alumni network. That's yep. worth it for the four years. If you're gonna go to like a fucking like Ivy League or some you know ritzy ritzy place like that also worth it yep. for the social connections yeah. if you're gonna Especially go to since, you know go ahead, i'm go sorry ahead. go ahead i was gonna say for ivy like in most cases either your parents are just paying for all of that and they can just fucking afford to or you're getting scholarships yeah Is that like not, the working so class person. thinking about that are you paying for for a, a university education or are you paying for that network and the experiences that come yes. along with that you think yes. so but, a university oh, yes. education in Ivy League, even for undergrad, even for like the generic bullshit classes, is going to be just leaps and bounds better than what you're going to get at the junior college down the road. So yeah, you were yeah, paying yeah. all that for that, but no, the real thing you pay for is the networking, the name, the brand, that whole thing. And so it, like, it, I will say, nah. like, for for a lot of like, you're right on that too even for like undergrad stuff but like 
at a certain point, it's like if you're doing an undergrad for like mechanical engineering, like go into a school that's like known for that shit, even if it's not Ivy League, like is just as beneficial just, for those like yeah. same exact reasons for sure. Uh, like sometimes that like Ivy shit, like just because they're the most prestigious or whatever, like isn't necessarily worth it. But also it's one of those things where it's like if you apply to Harvard and they offer you a full fucking ride to go there and to go to graduate school, like yeah, you should probably say yes. <laughs> like, Yeah. But yeah, but you uh, know, for all the high schoolers out Harvard. there listening, you know, congratulations. Many Here's a little advice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I it, school is is academics, universities like post high school education because of the cost is such a large, such such a a, a bigger thing than even what mm-hmm. we make it out to be. And we put so much pressure on students now. And I mean, fuck, there was pressure when I was going to it. Stupido, I don't know if you want to chime in, if you thought pressure getting into school. Mm. Um, I was a non-traditional student, so I don't have any. Gotcha. Yeah, but you also went, did, oh, I'm sorry, I, maybe I don't know this. Did you not finish high school tr- in the traditional manner? High school, yes. Did you feel pressure to go to school out of out of high school? I mean, in a way, I also was at a in a part of the country where not many people went to college afterward. Gotcha. Okay, so um, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, honestly, when I got to high school, it was the first time I heard anybody say they weren't going to go to college, and I I just didn't know that was a possibility until I was like a sophomore or junior in high school. So it was a different it was a different setup or whatever, and, that, and that's fine. Um, but like, there's it, it there's so much going on there, and it's so expensive that unless you have like a, a sure fucking thing. Just go to the cheapest thing that gets you through because at the end of the day, if you yeah. need to get a name or focus, you'll get there eventually. Like I I had a, I graduated college with a 4.0. And that's because I got the, the school that I finished my bachelor's at when I started caring and I actually like invested in school and they invested in me. I did really well in. And all the transfer credits where, where I had like a 1.7 GPA didn't carry over to my GPA because yeah. They just that's how transfer credits fail. work yeah yeah so like the seven fails i had and the eight d's and nine c's and two b's didn't impact my shit so i got to fuck up a lot and still have decent credentials um but it took me a while to get there and i paid a shit ton of money for it unfortunately so yep i mean Sorry. i graduated with like high school like above a 4.0 as whatever the fuck is second valedictorian and had been going to college. uh, Yeah, whatever the fuck. And had been going to college since my junior year of high school. And, um... And look where it got you. Right? And took... uh, that. Basically, that's where the story ends of, like... And then, uh... Took, like, three and a half years or, like, four years after high school of, like, not even taking max credit loads. Graduated magna cum laude with my bachelor's. Got into graduate school. And I fucking have so much motherfucking debt. And, like, I got scholarships and stuff like that. So. Yep. Yeah. It's, and there's people who had way worse grades than me all of fucking high school and their undergrad who I did undergrad with who are in my graduate program who have their degree that looks exactly the same them as mine will look so it's like at a certain point some of that stuff like really is fucking moot but that also doesn't mean like oh your first year at college just like do all the drugs and drinking you can and don't fucking care about shit that is not the lesson to learn that's not <laughs> it's a hard one yeah did you many fats are people... you i'm sorry go ahead damon no, I was just going to say, like, many people have learned that shit the hard way, for sure. <laughs> Are you going on, like, your fifth, sixth, seventh year already, Fats? Or what is your story? Where are you at in your school? Oh, yeah. No, it's, like, oh, goodness, probably, like, my eighth, I think. Um, I moved around a little bit, right? Went to a couple of community colleges. Didn't, couldn't find the place for me. Thought I did, right? At, Tennessee, and then COVID kind of dropped a hammer on my head. That uh, fucking sucked. Like an, yeah, an anvil fell out of the sky, and Piano. so I had to, I had to move back to Michigan. Um, I'm doing a, a directional school here, so go Maxion. What's um, a directional school? 
It's like, uh, like, like Northwest Illinois. Western. It yeah, like oh, yeah. I'm sorry, that yeah. doesn't go to Northwest Illinois, but like that sort it's, of thing. Like, it's been a long time yeah. since I've heard that phrase. I yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah, Eastern Oregon yeah. University, the Southern South Illinois South. Salukis, South yeah. Alabama. I I started my South collegiate South. career at Edwardsville. That's where my wife graduated. Yeah. Does your wife talk? Uh, the stories uh, become gasp. more and more intertwined. Is my wife gasp. what? Is your wife Does my talk? wife talk? Gasp. Yeah, we t- we're talking gasp. in the same room right now. Yep. <laughs> Haven't realized this whole time. What the right. fuck? <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. That boy wears a pair of sweatpants. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. All right. <laughs> all, right. All, right. all right. Sweatpants make me sweat. Right. I don't wear sweatpants. Question number yeah, seven. Nice Number seven, question number seven. What are your big highlights, Mr. Mr. Dick? Well, you, you know, uh, Mr. Dick. Mr. Dick. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. Not... Senior Dick. Uh, getting player of the session. Uh, gosh, I, earlier this season, I, I can't remember which one it was. It was pretty cool. That was a good one. What was that, was that a, line? That was a... Three homers? Uh, I think it was two. But two. I, I, I think it was like one of them was the game winner, three. though. Yeah, one yeah, of them I was mean, like was... legit the walk off home run, right? No? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was just just a really Fats good game. I gotta look. To I gotta look. I think that was our first one of the season, and I was just like, you know what? <laughs> You're right, I'm gonna... dude. I I'm, right. I vaguely remember this shit, and the conversation did kind of go like where it was just like we like. Just wanted to sub for better ranges, and it's like, but the fine, I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. Two uh, homers, game win. Yeah. yeah. I, well, at some point, uh, well, before this this win recently, um, every time we won, we had a player win player of the session because it was me, then Cybe, yeah, and then Jacques, yeah. and so like. Yeah, that's how rare your wins are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you those were better. the first three talk. wins. Rough. Listen, how many wins we have a higher have win per player of the session ratio, or whatever you want to call it. So, are you saying it's a hundred percent? No, well, not anymore. Saying that not anymore. We, he's 95. saying that more so than it. not on games that we've won, we've had yeah. player session. Hey, hey, seventy-five percent. Right? Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty bad. Uh, no, I mean, uh, but that, that first that first player of the session was really cool. And honestly, like, kind of underrated for me is, was getting picked as the GM. Just because I kind of didn't expect it to happen. Like, I just tossed my name out there. I was like, you know what? Because I told DD, I said, you know what? I'm probably not going to take a GM position anywhere else. Unless it's St. Louis, just because I like the real Cardinals. And I, and so I know some people find that kind of lame. Like it's fake baseball. Like this is different universe, whatever, like go to a team that's not yours, which I, I get that side of the argument. I don't fuck those but people. I, yeah. yeah. I, I just say, fuck it too. I'm just like, eh, well, yeah, you can just do what you I, want. Yeah. You get to play. Yeah. It's a fake baseball game. You get to play it how you want. Yeah. Fuck them. It's one thing to yeah. say, I'm not playing for the fake right. Cubs because I hate the right. Cubs. It's another to yeah. say, if I'm going to GM, I'm only going to GM for the team that I love in real life. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty much what I, how I felt about it. And then, uh, then the job came open and I was like, well, I'm going to put my name in there for it. And somehow I got it and I was like, well, okay, this is cool. Fuck. What do I do and, now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's kind of how, how it felt. You know, I was like, what well, okay, well I'm here now. What? And, um, <laughs> And it was cool, like oh, getting to know everybody, I and and I like I didn't really know any of the Cardinals then because they like we stay in our clubhouse a little bit, and don't they have now, to like vote you in? Discords. They did. Hold they up, did everybody. vote me in. Hold up, everybody. Um, Discord. Stan oh, and everybody. Buzz were the first two to like really say hi and like talk to me, like see what, so I could see what was going on there because you know these people have been there longer than me, and so I wasn't just gonna be like. You know, okay, my place now. Have fun. This is here. I this is how we're everyone, doing. Shit. Everyone's cut. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, he's here. I, I will friend. say 
Uh, it was session six, and it was our first W, and it was the player of the game that you got, and it was two for three, two hits, two RBIs, and they were both homers, and we won five to three, and one of them was in the sixth for the dub. It sounds like you need to have men on base more often. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure we scored a pretty decent rate. It's yeah, our, the sc- uh, scoring little... isn't the yeah. Oh like, yeah, for, yeah. Like, for scoring stats and like batting stats, we're actually like mid, like dead middle of the pack, which like, obviously isn't like, we're mid. Flex, but yeah. we're definitely hey, not the wrong being the worst. Average. Yeah, like not the fucking. There's people with way worse batting. Uh, stat like teams with way worse like team batting stats that stats that have way more wins, but yeah, imagine it's the having pitching worse. stats. Tag that I was about to say, yeah. imagine it's imagine like, having worse you, hitting stats. You can stats. score Great. probably pretty often. <laughs> it happens, but you oh, know, I, and like, so I so I talked to Stan and Buzz, and I was you know I, I asked them how they felt about things where where they were because you know I, I want to get along with the people that are there because. Yeah, you know, I think it's a little more than just guessing numbers. Like we're all talking to each other pretty frequently. Yeah, and it's not merely just about like, oh, you're shit at hitting or something like yeah. that. You know, get get your batting average up, you fool. Yeah. Uh, no, I so I talked to them a little bit, and they helped out, kind of kind of figuring out. And I'm still learning, right? Like, you know, it takes a little while to get to know people, and you guys know that. Like, you're still still hopping in and figuring things out too we're all learning and depending on how much time you can put in you know what you put in is what you get out so like you guys have obviously committed a lot and so you, you've gotten a lot out of it and some people might not and that's fine you know but have we, have that's we just committed up, a lot? up to whoever i a think pod- so yeah. i mean you guys have a podcast that's pretty cool more than what i could say we're the you we're on the podcast what was that? You can't say that. Say you can say. Guest on it. It. I don't know what's happening. I Please continue to talk at once. You silly fucking geese. I better just go to the next question. <laughs> All right, so the next and final question. You said you could do a thing, you're like, um. <laughs> So the next and final question is, Fats, you touched on it a bit earlier, but how does it feel to GM for the fake version of the team that you like in real life? I think it's really cool. And I, uh, I like I said, I know it, it might sound a little cliche to some people, like, oh, it's a real team, like, get over yourself. But that's rude. I, I think... Whoever <laughs> says that. Maybe. Maybe, but they can get over themselves too, I reckon. Fair. Um <laughs> oh, there's the tennis. Oh, I, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Now I've got a, some good. Don't interrupt reasons. him while he's reckoning. Sorry, sorry. Right. sorry, I was just. Rec- <laughs> sorry, I was recognizing <laughs> the reckoning, <laughs> disrupting the reckoning. <laughs> it, it's cool, and I. So I don't. I don't want to give too much away, but I'm hoping that this this next season will uh might might do a little something different. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Is a little cardinal history coming out. Uh, win. Oh. You know what? Hey, Fuck you're you, buddy. in the your <laughs> team's fucking eliminated too. You fucker. Okay, we yeah, we're in. We're and we're in bottom five. It's great. That just we're means that you're getting a shittier five. draft position. Fucking congrats! Like <laughs> we're, we're both in bottom five. It's so sick. <laughs> get the fuck out of here! Like we're of the five. You're bottom the of the five. five. Like get the fuck out of here. Bottom it's of the one the channel. Five. Chuck and I can't talk to to each I, other. You know. I think I've, I've spent the I most of my of career change. down in the bottom five, and I'm not even joking. Dude, there's <laughs> yeah. nothing wrong yeah. with the bottom five. It's actually quite comfortable. Uh, the, the, the first nice year, in there. Yeah. Yeah. Pittsburgh. The first year, up. I think we spent Thanks. like half the season down there, give or take. So, which honestly, like I didn't know any better. I don't know anything about the league, right? This my first first season because I like bottom, like I said, I didn't. Five, this means we're good, right? <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> it's like golf. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, like last year, we the Marlins were pretty good to, for the most most of the season, right? And um, my 
And then I joined the Cardinals, so I got put right back into the bottom five. And then know, the Marlins made the first. playoffs. And then the Marlins right? made the playoffs, which I was really happy about. Yeah. Didn't even um, get a taste of it, though. No, did I you didn't. Get a, did you get a playoff? Yeah, did you get a ring at least? They didn't they, win. They, did, not they win. did say they, they would have sent me a ring, which I was grateful for. Uh, it's the sentiment that counts. Yeah, yeah, it is a sentiment. We're we're a very sentimental bunch, you know. Moral wins and all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> champions hey, of life, spirit, I always say. And when your spirit gets broken in the thirteenth inning of a game, oh my god, I, fucking, I still come remember. Fucking, it. Come fucking st- talk to me. I still remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Especially god. when your team motherfucking takes the lead. And then just ties right back up. And you're just like, fucking... Cr-. And then Damn. goes on four more innings. So yeah. Do you, yeah. And do you we have still weren't the last game address? to finish that session, by the way. Yeah. We were not. We were not even close to being the last game to finish that session, actually. There was like four or five more games going on, I swear. Like, I think we were second to last. I those really, Cubs, those I, Cubs I, are I fast. Recently. Cubs were being fast, yeah. for sure. Uh, well, by the end of it, too, it was just like, everybody just... Fucking throw slop at the <laughs> just shit until take it's over. Numbers, just take yeah, numbers. Just fucking go. <laughs> Anything. Yeah. Do you have wonderful. plans to address the uh, the pitching in the next year? Like you got uh, like a, like well, a we'll clinic see. or something you're doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sending everyone to to a, a special trainer in the off season. I've got contacts that um, we're going to be sending most everyone to at least putting them For in sure. contact with. Going to Brazil. Um, no, it will not be in Brazil. Um, <laughs> probably going to go see our man Bartolo in Saudi Arabia. Oh no! Um, isn't, that, isn't that who you'd learn how to hit from? He has one homer. He does right. Yeah. He does. He <laughs> does right. have. He, he does have one homer. It Do you want to hear the most glorious things that ever happened? <laughs> Fats, you want You had all your meat hot takes that you know are entirely wrong. I have a hot take. I hate Bartolo Colon. I think he's a fucking. Why? Because he's a steroid what? fucking user. Yeah, he, I well, you know, we did have I mean, Mark McGuire and all that, but I'm not gonna, di- I'm I mean, gonna disagree. Yeah. I'm not gonna go to. I'm not gonna disagree either, but that doesn't mean that I hate them. I think I, he's okay, a so hilarious I, player. I I don't hate Bartolo Colon. I hate like the fetishization of Bartolo Colon because he's like because he's he, fucking fat and hilarious. What a way to put that. <laughs> The yeah, like, I, I don't think I have we a have a Bartolo, Bartolo Cologne, Cologne fetish. fetish. I think people just oh, think there's a full on fucking... baseball Bartolo Cologne fetish. I there is yeah. in some in some circles. There right. is. Yeah. You know what? I, I don't think it's see ridiculous. people fawning over John Lester getting a base hit or kicking a dude off at first base. Well, yeah, because he couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and Bartolo Cologne could hit home runs. He hit a home run. Okay, hey, but John Bartolo Cologne hit a home run. Off and- we can't what make you're a fucking plural. missing is that him hitting a home run just proves that anything is fucking possible. Literally listen, anything. Rock, listen, like, you just gotta you gotta put it this way, all right? Fat guy who pitches hit a home run. Like that's pretty fun. Like, and also his on. helmet also his helmet comes proof. off when he swings. The jog around the bases from that shit and just like the crowd going insane that's and like shot. a very low stakes at bat. And the announcers literally just being in fucking disbelief that it just happened. Is just it's so good. I think the line drive shot why too. Baseball is great too. <laughs> so good, dude. Because <laughs> you oh, can get so sure. hype over such little moments that really don't matter. Well, I agree. I point. agree there. I just my hot yeah, take is I don't like Bartolo Colon. When you're an ass, re- you, re- you okay, kind of have fair. to. There's that, but there's also the also the other thing is like, dude, it does not matter if you're motherfucking Bartolo Cologne. Like you can walk out and hit a fucking home run. Maybe the chances of it aren't very oh, high, wow. but like not great. it can happen. Like, who would have fucking told you that David Freeze would hit the game winner in Game Six right, of the Twenty Four World gonna, Series? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, s- I'm gonna. <laughs> so we're gonna do it. It's such a good. We're gonna example, do a top though. five you're not batting practice at a major league park. Fair, harsh but you're fair. Not, what was that? You're not getting healing in Overwatch. Harsh but fair. Why? Top what did he what? say that? What did he say that he that upset you? Bringing up the Twenty Twelve World. Just the oh. mere mention of David I don't know Freeze, why you still get like, hurt over that. Like you just won. I don't. I, I think I'm playing. Fine. I'm playing it up for it's the bit. It's just a funny but, fucking yeah. home mm. joke. Uh, I'm playing it up for like the yeah. Bit. If if like before that World Series started, if you would have been like, hey, if you were at a bar and you're like, guys, let me fucking tell you, David Freeze, David World Freeze. Series MVP, Cardinals win in seven, 
and they win game six in extra innings on a fucking walk off and David Freeze ties it up with two strikes, two outs in the bottom of the fucking ninth. So it would have been like, yo, who's your crack dealer? Don't enjoy this. <laughs> it was a great game. I mean, I it was love a game. It was a great end I'll of the give game. you one better that I think gets lost in that series is Albert Pool going I'm not good. Duke. Like, oh, how many home runs did he hit in that one game? Three, I'm right? Three. I'm more than yeah, happy three home runs. they lost, personally. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's Leo, bring you let's home, discuss, Leo. Let's, bring let's you discuss home. the 2023 World Series. All right, let's so we won in five. Posting, uh, posted ravioli. Okay. Okay. Getting the That's, tattoo of the we, box we've covered it. Nice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With, with getting cool a tattoo with of the a box scored. Yeah. I'm not getting fucking... a tattoo with a box score. That's, it's so much hate. Tavares spelled wrong. Tavares, Tavares, whatever the fuck. Tavares. Yeah. Volf originally sent that. I saw that originally in the Mariner server, and Volf sent it. Well, and like, when everybody was like, "Nice," ta- uh, like, "Is that yours?" And he was like, "No, look at the fucking typo." <laughs> <laughs> no, check out the misspelling. Hey, old man Lance Lynn's gonna win the Cardinals the World Series this year. Thoughts? This is not correct. Uh, uh, I don't even know if I can get that. Lance if Lynn's old man Lance the Lynn record doesn't drag us down, up. yeah, I'd be happy with that. Wait, he's not Lynn. actively anchoring you from like a, away from a World Series. You'll take Lance that. Lynn will <laughs> set the record yeah. for home yeah. runs given up in one season. Look, as he throws the Cardinals batting practice. <laughs> the Cardinals offense is such that if the pitchers just don't suck, we're going to win the Central. Well, it, it's it's more that the Central I, sucks that bad. I I just it is also a home run in spring training. Who what's that? Is, I don't think the Cardinals have hit a home run in spring training yet, right? I haven't that's paid not, attention to really it. I'm totally honest. So that's less than ideal. But I will it's less say less than ideal. <laughs> it I mean, would you rather have that training. like what Chalk just said, where like just don't let the other team score a shitload and you're probably gonna win? Or how about I give you eighty five oh, one to zero wins? <laughs> With a lineup of utility field infielders, because oh, I get you don't nine like that, Charlie Culbersons. Let's go. You don't like Mariners baseball. Don't you have like one of the hottest young stars in the league? Yeah, I have five utility infielders, fifty-five four A players, fifty-five tools <laughs> outfielders, fifty-five backup catchers, fifty-five four A players. <laughs> Fuck you. Fifty-five bullpen oh, arms. Oh my god, Leo. What the you wrap this up with the last question form? What? Why don't we wrap this up with the last question? Yeah, oh, uh, Fats, do you have any questions for us? Well delivered, Leo. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't put quite the pizzazz on that one. The Riz. So, the Riz. Riz God. So it's a couple of Cardinals, Mariner, and a Ranger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But luckily, Leo and I don't dislike each other because our no, mutual hatred of the Angels and the Astros, we hate the Astros. Divide, divides the bridge of we, we, we hate our the discontent. Astros. Yeah, I'm just like, Mariners, so, I'm fine yeah. with fish. Yeah, we're fine with them. Astros, fuck the Astros. I hate the Astros. Yeah. they suck. So the, is there. the disdain for the Angels just because they're not good? I don't, uh, I, my, I don't think like the Angels. I don't hate them either. My disdain for them? No, I genuinely do fucking hate the Angels. Actually, yeah, I don't um, care about them. Uh, because mostly Joan just Figgins because wasn't good for you guys. There was or like Sean two Figgins? years, two years in a row that is Phil Nevin still their manager this year? Does anybody yeah. know off the top of their head? Yeah, uh, let me look. I don't up. know. But in the They're first year that he became manager after that? Rod Washington, uh, what am I thinking? It's Rod oh, Washington. Duh, duh. So the first year that Close. Phil Nevin became interim He's and then uh, manager the next year too, those two years, the Angels started like multiple fights with the Mariners. And there was like, mul- there was oh, one yeah. year there specifically one where he's trying to fucking punch somebody in the dugout with, with his cast on like a fucking bitch. Okay. And he does. And uh, secondly, Dope? Yes. Yeah, he's in the dugout with his fucking hand casted, trying throwing fucking haymakers and shit. And At everybody's Mariners like, We're not fu- yes, "Yes, yes." Why is he in this the Mariners is- dugout? He's not in the. He's Mariners in the Angels. Dugout. Okay, he's <laughs> fighting. Disregard what Chalk is saying. Disregard he's what Chalk fighting. is saying. I'm sorry. No, fuck so- off here. You're telling me that you're pissed <laughs> that a guy is throwing haymakers in a dugout. Are there other like? Is he just hitting his own teammates? Okay, that, Rendon, that's, that's comedy. Rendon okay. exited the dugout and is fighting other players with a cast yes. on while injured. There yes. you go. All right, yes. the man literally said yes. four times he's in his own dugout. He's in his own dugout. 
I don't know what Dayman's saying. I mean, it was under the influence. It was under the influence. Get off of me. I'm not even close to you. I'm scaring your ring. I wish I was on you. I was on you. Uh, I, yeah, I, I just hate the Angels. Phil Nevin is, was such a fucking cuck on their team for those few years. Like, yeah, I don't care. Fucking worse. Great. Got, no, like no there, way. there was a he literally. There was multiple Angels players and Phil Nevin who it was the year before the Mariners made the playoffs uh, for the first time forever, where he they literally were like, we should not be losing to a team like the Mariners. They suck. And it was the <laughs> game after that they played. Yeah. That the Mariners were beating them and they started a fucking bullshit fight because I can't even remember what started it. It was so, oh, in, in the game, the Angels pulled their fucking starter and put in a uh, rookie to country. throw at fucking Julio and then subbed him the next fucking inning. And a few Mariners people did not like that shit. And so yeah. they started fucking chirping and then the umpire started uh it tossing people and fucking that's when the fight started and it ended with jesse winker double flipping off the angels cloud in like the most legendary fucking picture ever that when he threw so the, the gum at him too yes that that was was that i pretty sure it was uh who the fuck was it it was someone on the angels throwing i'm pretty sure it was fucking rendon let's look it up who threw gum it, it, no, it wasn't no, him. It was somebody fight. else. But it was that was hilarious shit too. Like that was so funny. In fairness, the Angels did have like the two best players in God's creation. Well, like, and how it started was the night before. Right, Mike, like Mike Trout caught. He didn't get hit, but one of the Mariners' relievers, like they're sh a shitty one of their relievers, basically got like up and in pretty tight. And Mike Trout was fucking bitching at them and bitching at the Empire. And after the game, he was like, yeah, it's bullshit to be doing that. Everybody was like, what the fuck do you mean, dude? You want it low and away. You know, we're going to fucking throw it high and not inside, there. like not fucking there. Like they're not throwing at you on purpose. And then the next day, the Angels started someone to throw at Julio like and it just that's... fucking devolved from there. Has not been allowed to answer, ask us questions. No, as... he's not. <laughs> we, we immediately I just started hating. Um... Oh, okay. We've I'm, actually like, specifically I'm... worked towards, I'm going to talk over him again. We specifically worked towards trying to get the guests more time to talk, <laughs> and we're not doing it at all. <laughs> not, we it, don't hey, follow you our You said internal... ask me questions. I, I'm bringing stuff to the table here. You so, are. You brought it. I hate the athletics more than the angels. But I do not I hate the athletics. It's weird because it's like, hate, so it's like I, hating but, the little kid down the street that just. I don't hate. Kid, you know? But the I athletics hate... weren't always like that. That's well, I don't the, hate that's the A's because. Now. They're like I don't hate the A's team. I hate uh, fucking Fisher. Yeah, fair. yeah. I mean, my th like my thing is I used to genuinely like really not like Oakland purely because there was two years where Oakland basically like eliminated the Mariners from the playoffs. They were like one game out. But over the last few years, it's de and like they were like decent and made the playoffs like not too long ago. Over the past few yes. years, though, that that like disdain has just faded to just like your owner's a fucking douchebag and that sucks but like them as a team it's like eh. so pity, pity why are you guys yeah. not watching college baseball uh, uh because I do the sometimes. university i support doesn't have a team i think college athletics are predatory and stupid i watch college but there's baseball. nil uh, now bud go, it's fine uh, go, te go texas state go bobcats texas state some swag action to want. That's, that's all that's gold. Alma mater. Hey, that, is Paul gold it's alma mater. that is Sunbelt. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Cardinals nice. fans. Got, my family went out to dinner state, tonight, so. and we were somehow seated right in front of a big golf, uh, like TV. It was golf on. None oh, of us no. like golf, and we all were watching it. And there's this guy talking. And there's no sound. But it's like that old man looks like looks like Paul Goldschmidt. Sure enough, it was Paul fucking Goldschmidt just sitting there commenting on golf. I have no idea what the fuck he was doing there. Fair enough. That's Paul DeYoung. Apparently go commenting on golf. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> that sounds, that yeah. sounds like a Paul Goldsmith thing. I don't. It I can't does. explain why. I don't ask like why, but it really does. Yeah. You, did, well, you I mean, didn't hear him talking, though? I couldn't hear him talking. Like All mm -hmm. I could see was a salt and pepper beard that was mostly salty. I was, I was like, like well, did take like over something. for Edmund? Or oh, you God. someone to? I just, I just turned the games on mute at this point. Fuck them. Are your commentators for Cardinals games that bad? Oh, they're horrible. He the only good one is no, 
They're yeah, not they really bad. are. They really I are. I enjoy um was it Skip or Chip or whoever it is now? Chip. Yeah. Skip. I, I enjoy him because I, well, I grew it. up listening oh, to the Braves. Skip. So right? oh, fuck. I don't know. the voice is it, it, whatever okay. whatever it is, you no, he's he's terrible. I don't like I don't him and I don't like Brad Thompson. Thompson. No, they're they're all you don't like Brad? No, Brad Thompson has the worst fucking cadence. It sounds like he's like a foreign spy trying to talk English. <laughs> and he never fucking got the rhythm right. Fucking That's honey what it you. You're yeah, baseball. Fluid, <laughs> it's like he got the pronunciation down, English. but there's like a rhythm to speech that a native has that Brad Brad Thompson cannot mimic. Oh. And it fucking sucks. He's like Zuckerberg. He's just a fucking robot. Yeah. Who hasn't He's a fucking mastered. automaton. <laughs> Here we are watching uh, I would say that the Here. only reason that probably a vast majority of people who watch like Mariners games every day even have stuck around the last 20 years is purely for their commentators. <laughs> like, yeah, one of them is a Cardinals guy that we tried to get, or they thought we were going to try to get back, and yeah. instead we went to Aaron. Yeah, no, they did ask him, didn't they? And then he yeah, no, they offered him the job, play. and he he, and he said, and he said like the Cardinals because he's from there. He yep. basically said that like the only other place that he would ever work is there, and then he ended up just re-signing with Root Sports in Seattle, which is great because he's like one of the best ones. Mike Flowers is severely underrated. And he played for the Mariners for a long time and for the Yankees. You guys so watch like, MLB TV? Is that uh, how you guys through watch? a VPN, yeah. So I watch um, on MLB, yeah. So when you're watching, do you change the audio to where you can hear the radio guys instead of the TV guys? Uh, sometimes. If, if I'm would, doing it on a, I'm on a, a computer, computer yes. Fan, I do, because Derek yeah. Hill. Uh, I, I, I would say that it just depends, because the Mariners do, like, Rick Riz is always on radio. And Mike Blowers is always on TV. And then Dave Sims and Aaron Goldschmidt swap between. So, like, sometimes I'm just like, dude, give me some of that fucking Riz. Give me some of that Rick Riz shit. Because he's, like, the OG OG who's been with the Mariners for, like, since, like, the fucking 70s. Except for, like, a few years. So, Are you a, are you a like John Rooney fan, Fats? I am. I am. I, he's the I think... only announcer we have that I like. Radio, radio guy. Yeah, John, he's yeah. he's been around for a while. He's really good. Mm-hmm. He's good. He replaced a dude I named will... Wayne Hagen, who I thought was also pretty good, but um, they fucked him over, so he's never going to come back. Um, I so I, I I don't know if you guys like him, but I I like Ricky as a color analyst. I don't like it when he covers for John. I like fucking hate Rick Horton. <laughs> 